everyone, welcome to another video at simonsaysstamp.com. Today I'm going to be showing you the stamp and emboss set. It's just one of them that's brand new to the Simon Says Stamp store. These are from Hero Arts and Sizzix. And I'm going to start out with a card base here. This is Nina Desert Storm Environmental Cardstock. It's basically a craft cardstock. It's my absolute favorite. It's a great thing to pick up at the store. And we're going to start out by stamping the background. I'm using some Chestnut Roan Fluid Chalk Ink from Colorbox. And this is the way I like to do my background stamps. Because they are such large stamps, I don't take them off the plastic sheet. I just go ahead and ink them up. And then carefully put my card front down. Being caref really careful not to move the paper after I've applied it to the stamp. And then I just run my fingers over it really carefully. Make sure I get all of those little areas, especially around the edges. I, can, I tend to forget that sometimes. And then carefully lift off the stamp and then you have a perfect stamped image. Okay, so now I have the card like this. I'm going to take the embossing folder and I'm just going to line it up with the stamped image. Okay, once you have that centered in there, go ahead and close the embossing folder. You might have to shift it a little bit once it's closed because they don't always like to stay in the right spot. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just do a post-it note like that. That's just gonna help hold it in spot. Take my two little plastic sheets and I'm going to Hold that really close and get that in there just perfectly. Then in my Sizzix machine, I'm going to have no tabs up and I'll go ahead and roll this through. And then you have a really nice embossed image. I hope you guys can see that edge there. It looks really cool with the stripes. All right, now I'm taking a little piece of some white Nina cardstock and some Hero Arts Shadow Ink in Soft Pool. I'm using this little tiny owl stamp. This is the Newspaper Owl. It's also one of the brand new stamps from Hero Arts. Just stamp him. All right, we're gonna put the little owl there and I'm going to be using this sentiment that says, owl you need as a friend, but it doesn't fit in that label. So we're actually going to split this into two or three lines so that it will fit in the label with the owl over to the side. And I'm going to be using a stamp -a jig for this because I wanna make sure I get everything lined up just right. So the stamp -a jig is basically a T-square and then an imaging sheet, which is just a clear sheet and you put that up into the corner of the T-square and then grab some ink and ink up your stamp and then you just go right up into that corner and then down and then now you have that stamped image on the imaging sheet and you can get it placed just right. Looks like all you need will work and then we'll do is a friend on the bottom. So I'm gonna get that in place, move the T-square in. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna quickly clean off the stamp. All right, and I'm going to take my ink pad and very carefully only get the area that I need. All right, take this imaging sheet away. Come up here and then go straight down. And then I'll put in all you need and I'll do the is a friend right below. Move that little guy out of the way. So I have that perfect little spot. Looks like my stamp's a little bit wet, but we're gonna put the owl there so you won't even see it. So it just says owl you need is a friend. In fact, since it is crooked, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the same sentiment on another piece of cardstock, and then I'll come back in and we'll put it over it. It'll just be an added bit of color. Okay, so I stamped it on some daffodil layering paper from Hero Arts, 
and we're going to put the little owl right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put him on some dimensional adhesive. Okay, and he will go right over here. I'm going to do a little ribbon edge over there. All right, I'll put some regular adhesive on the little tag. He will go right there. I also have some little Hero Hughes gems, and I thought a little gem would be cute on his little belly or over here. I'm going to take a black marker, and I'm going to make his pupils black. And then I'm using American Craft stamp marker and I'm going to color in his beak. Alright, I'm going to round these corners. And that's the finished card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.